Alright guys, they're playing some Zin Zhao top lane versus Cho'Gath and this game we're running Leo Tempo, Triumph and Lacrity, cut down Biscuits, Cosmic and then also with a Longsword and Ignite. This game I'm going to show you how to carry with Zin Zhao. We're going to have a lot of fun into a very interesting matchup too. Zin Zhao against Cho'Gath is my dream matchup bro because I can like... Um, despite this guy scaling super hard, Xin Zhao, if ahead, it's an absolute beast, man. Absolute beast. Tell me whatever you want, Xin Zhao, once you get ahead, it's absolutely unstoppable. And if you play into matchups like Cho, while well, he does a lot of damage, if you go Blade as a first item, he will never send a chance. Ever. I'll take this one. Hmm, creep block here. I do got him. I can just pop in this one. There you go. Bro, the amount of times that I'm killing somebody on level 1 with Xin Zhao is impressive. Like, it's so easy to level 1 uh, fight with Xin Zhao because your Q does a ridiculous amount of damage. And the knockoff helps with uh, disengaging and re-engaging. It's impressive, like, the amount of stuff you can do with Xin Zhao at the start of the match. And if you play with Lethal Tempo, it certainly makes the matchup even easier because Lethal Tempo, as you guys know, is like one of the biggest power spikes you can get. Because once it's being procced, you gain like so much uh, attack speed. It's kind of ridiculous. Let's go for this one straight away. And I'd love to go for a revealable potion here. There you go. Let's get that. Funny enough, I think about like two months ago or like three months ago, I made a video for Sun Zhao and at that moment I also ran into a Cho'Gath, I believe. It's quite funny, every single time I, I'm planning on playing Sun Zhao top lane, I literally always play against Cho'Gath. It's quite interesting. I don't memorize if I locked in Sun Zhao into, into Cho or if it was the opposite. I don't remember. Unfortunately, I don't, uh, don't hit that one, but I think I wouldn't have jumped anyway, because it's like a really bad jump for me. Nice try. That skin of Cho makes it so readable to see where the Q is, bro. <laughs> An absolute pay to lose skin right there, in my opinion. It's not that good at all. Let's see if I, I need to try and hit my W before I actually do, do engage on the Cho. So I can actually like break the uh I wanna be able to break the uh bone plating. Oh it turns out he doesn't even have that. I like that though. Got him. Not quite sure if I led my secondary W. I don't think I did, but I did sidestep everything from the Cho. That's why I win so hard. Okay, that's gonna push. I hope that I can get the pickaxe. I'm not gonna buy the life cilia because I simply want to have like the raw damage from the um, from the components right now. Having life steal is certainly pretty good on Sin Zhao, but if you're like snowballing the way how I'm doing, and you can't purchase the pickaxe that early in the game, I would encourage you to do that because like 875 gold is not something you typically can buy. Because the value of this item is just massive. If you can't buy it, you should. I always try and get it if I can. But it's always certainly better to go lifesteal. If you want to have an easier time in lane, then lifesteal will always do that for you. Keep that in mind. So we're going to go for that one. Not too bad, not too bad. Hmm, I guess I'm not gonna make that one. I could try and kill him at Ignite, but I don't think it will kill him. Nah, it's not. It was like a war trying, I guess. Because he must reset now. Yep, nice push. They have a Shaco in the jungle, by the way. But I haven't seen him yet. Mm, let's try. Good. 
got it. That'll push. That's definitely going to provide us a plating for sure as well. Yep. And we got it. Okay, so let's go back to base and we'll actually get the lifesteal. I kind of wish I was able to buy Blade, but Cho is actually not worth that much gold anymore. So it's not really working. <laughs> not anymore. We're farming the Cho. So we're like seven minutes in the game. I need to try and kill the jungle. And let's get back. The wave is like slightly pushing my direction, so we can definitely all in this guy again. We'll see. I also suspect that we might actually find the Shaco. Probably. Got a bunch of wood ready. Just got to be very careful with where uh, Shaco is going to appear. Because if he appears topside now, then my whole lane is lost. So we're taking a very, very slow kind of playstyle now. Temporarily. If he shows in bot lane, we know what to do. Yep, Shaco's topside. That's what I talk about. Let's kind of hold it. I got lifesteal, so it's all good. Perfect. And let's keep it like this. Perfect. Okay. So if we freeze like this and we like slow push the wave back in uh, uh, in Cho, if he you know overextends only a little bit, we can then follow up immediately using my W. So we're about to have a lot of fun. If he doesn't overextend and the wave was slow push, then I can back off. I can buy items from the, you know, I can buy items from the base, get my blade, and once I get, once I come back, the wave should be pushing towards me again. So no matter what happens from here, if I focus on just autoing the wave, um, it should result in, you know, something good here. Let's try. The next thing I'm going to start maxing is gonna be my E because I want to have raw damage from my ability and I want to have the extra additional attack speed that we're getting from it because we're gonna go on hit. So Q into E into W is the max that we're going with. Shut down. Nice, I'm gonna all in here. Eh, too bad, that sucks. Ooh, I missed that one. That's so disappointing. Haha, <laughs> sidestep. I can sidestep using my E as well because I can just pop it on the wave. Can we actually get the tower? I wonder. Yep, we got it. Ooh. It's okay if my jungler dies. That's fine. My jungler's not worth that much anyway. So it's only uh, more beneficial for me because the Cho is losing the wave. See, Cho is losing like two waves, I would say. If he, it depends though. If he has, te yeah, he's got teleport. Nice. <laughs> I can tell that Shaco is not being here just. Because like he's actually walking up and then autoing and then, you know, as I all in myself, he's actually disengaging himself too. It kind of does tell precisely where the jungler is. Because if a jungler is nearby, then um, Chell would also want to walk up to me. Even if I go in, right? That's how you can kind of like tell where jungler is, depending on like how your opponent's going to move. It's a little bit of like, of like an advanced technique and you need to like uh, find out how your opponent plays. But in general, like that's what people do. The warrior spirit is never broken. Shaco could be in top again. So we're having going to have to play it save here. Well, never mind. Save is not in my book. I see an opportunity. I go in. Yeah. 
Safe is not, you know, playing safe is not in my book, you know what I mean? Not in my book here, we're playing aggressive, what am I saying? We're not playing safe. Definitely not happening. Alright, the next thing we're gonna do is... I want to combine the attack speed slash on hit, get myself Trinity Force. I think if I go for Trinity Force, it would make up for the perfect build, because... The moment, like, they buffed this item a while ago, it's been becoming a pretty OP one. Like, about a month ago, they buffed uh, Trinity Force, made it really, really broken. I think it fits on this champ very well. We'll do it. Let's get another point in my E here. I am thinking a little bit this game towards going uh, AoE as well. But I'm not so sure about that yet. I don't know. I wonder if he's gonna walk up here. I can I can fight him very easily, maybe one versus two. Hmm. He's clearing with his Q. I wonder if he's gonna kill me if I stand like that. I don't know. And that's Stay like this. Hmm. It's not interesting that he's just walking back or probably resetting. I think that's probably it. He's going for heart still, I guess. I don't know. Oh. Well, it doesn't happen yet. It failed. We can't probably dive him though. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh man. Not worth it. I <laughs> it's like 150 gold. <laughs> oh man, that Joe gets like ward nothing at all. <laughs> I don't consider this worth it. Not really. Not at all, actually. I'm, I'm, um, I'm, pl I'm probably gonna change it up a little bit because uh, we are winning top lane very hard, and I think, at, at, like at this point, if we walk back top lane, we still do. But uh, we need to try and snowball this game because it's actually going very bad in bot lane. Not too sure what's going on. In bot lane, but our AD carry has 30 CS at like 40 minutes, bro. I think that's the lowest I've ever seen in my life. So it's gonna be a tough one. An ally has been slain. It's gonna be a very tough one. Hmm. Vane running up to Cho. This guy's about 700 HP versus 3, 3k. Hmm. He's not gonna jump into that, right? I just need to be slightly worried. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he can hit the stun? Oh, he's not hitting the stun. Hmm. Too bad. He could have hit the stun. Nice. Yeah, two people are in mid. Shaco is also in bottom. I will definitely shove this one. Hmm. I could kill that guy. Hmm. He's flashing away. <laughs> I could make the decision of like jumping back into him and like outplaying with my W and stuff. But like, there is a fair chance that Zed might press R on himself and then just like W away or something like that. Something that I couldn't control. So it's better if I back off here. It's a it's a little bit of a more safe option. Man, that guy's trying. Gotcha. 
Uh, that guy has ultimate, man. It's not gonna work. Hmm. Oh, we still managed to hit that one. I need about how much? Okay, like 50. I can fix that. I can just sell my potions. And then I got it. Nice. The next item that I'm going to go with is likely going to be either a shield bow um, or it's going to be a Kraken Slayer. I kind of like the idea of going Kraken Slayer because then I can keep on shredding down Cho. Which uh, leaves me slightly worried. get this stuff here. Farm the sound. Also having a uh, Hydra this game would certainly not be that bad here. But it's something that I think I'm not gonna get. 16 kills on their ADC. That, that's very worrying actually. That leaves me very worried. Next wave. Enemy double kill. The warrior spirit is never broken. Yeah, this guy's gonna die. Oh no. <laughs> I'm dying the exact same way like before. That's very upsetting. <laughs> I'm getting CC'd under a tower and then I die. It was very close too. He just walked outside of my auto range. It was so close actually. Okay. Yeah, we, we have plenty of choices. We can um, we can go Shield Bow. We can go Kraken Slayer for the on-hit damage. Which is personally what I'm thinking about. But having a, uh, a Hydra this game is certainly not bad. And having a Collector would also not be a bad idea. But I'm, I'm thinking more towards just going Kraken Slayer. Just so I can have the, uh, you know, the additional, you know, on-hit damage. I, I think I like the far more than anything else. And at that point, we can also adapt or build to what will happen next. Could always build shield bow. My AD carry is like out of the game at the moment. It's not looking good for this guy. There's nobody up here though. This guy's running. This is Cho on the right side. Nah. I don't think we're getting him. Yeah. Uh, these guys are too fed. Go one guy at least. Man, these guys are ultra fed. Like, it's not just the, uh, it's actually not just the AD carry that's like, that's actually a problem. I actually, I actually, I've never had a single problem against the ADC yet, simply because this guy doesn't want to fight me at the moment. But I've mainly been dying right now from these people. Nice one. The Cho is getting kills. Not good. I'm still capable of 1v9 in this game. But uh, my AD carry is even two levels behind the support. I've never seen that before. My AD carry is level 9. My support is level 11. I've never seen that before. I don't want to make that jump. The samurai like it needs to get hit the stacks up first before becoming uh, useful. My E is about four. That's a long time. Good one. Okay, 
we could dive the Shaco, but it really depends on if Riven will jump in. Yeah, we got him. Cool. Nice one. The Shaco prioritizes me, of course. Understandable. I'm like very, very fed at the moment. I'm going to go top lane real quick because top lane is getting shoved in. Or we may actually already have Shavana farming this maybe. Kraken Slayer. Good. Enemy killing yeah, the next thing we will buy is probably Hydra because any day will be clear. And also Ability Haze is very much appreciated. I don't have ultimate. I don't think we can fight this. We probably can fight this. We need my teammates to be here as well. Uh, I need to stay max range. We're getting a Riffin from the back here, so maybe this will work. Fake one. I don't know where the other guy jumped to. The yeah. Is never it's worth trying, I guess. Hmm. There's a three level difference, man. My AD carries level 10 still. What's going on? Is that guy lagging? I don't know. Wow, is, uh, my support has even more farm than my AD carry does, and we have a support. I don't know how that guy is ever going to remain useful. Okay, time to head back here. Um, I will let the top lane basically push in itself so that they will lose like a little bit more. Oh, it seems like Cho is going to farm this. Okay. We are specifically building this one now and I'm going for Warhammer. And I hope that Hydra is going to be a solution to Shaco's clone at the very least because I've been hitting the wrong one. <laughs> if I got A weekly, it's not much of an issue anymore. I can't make the other jump. It's kind of hard to do. Maybe now. Hmm, it says still behind it. I could make the jump on Shaco. Or we force the tower in mid. He's uh, probably baiting for the uh, the boxes. <laughs> nice one. Excellent. Maybe they'll make a solid comeback for Vayne. We could try to go for another one, actually. Yep. Ha! Huh. 21 kills on the AD carry, but we're up, we are killing the Samra basically over and over. Uh, things are working very smoothly. I would like to go for the dragon, but might not be able to do it. As much as I would like that dragon, if if I try and take it with my teammate, I think that Shaco is gonna like end up smiting it. So I don't want to take that risk. I'd rather not. Like I need to wait for my jungle. Only actions Uh, 
Yeah, this fight is gonna be very hard to play out, actually, because we're all being sort of, like, separated. Hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, we were all kind of, like, separated. So that made it completely unwinnable. I could have maybe jumped on the uh, the Z right here because he was like also separated. If I moved to the left side right here around the corner, I could have maybe hit like a WE on him and then jump on him. Maybe turn the whole fight around. I could have probably done that maybe. Yeah. But yeah, unfortunately, got no kills. This jump right here wasn't bad. But I, I die before even getting one kill. Man, this, this game is absolutely, absolutely rough, man. It is so hard to play this game like this. With uh, this guy being super fed, this guy being super fed. It's very hard. Shut down. The warrior is never broken. Enemy killing spirit. Good. Need to stack up my Hydra as soon as possible. Like the faster I get my stacks here, the better it's gonna be. My king commands. Is he taking that one? Yes, he actually did, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Alright. We can pick up another wave here. Get more stacks for my Hydra. Maybe we can actually push another wave, but it really depends on what will happen because um, There's two people in top right now, but there's also two people still missing Good another jungle from here Uh, may we may or may not find Shaco. Yeah. Yep. Wow, that guy is so fat. He's actually capable of killing his ins out close range. <laughs> wow. That's. Crazy man, that's absolutely crazy. That's that's just how fat the samurai is. That guy is already full build. I'm I'm not even full build myself, and I'm 17 kills in. Okay. Um. Well, we can fix that. We can go dead stance and partially fix that. We can also try and kill that guy faster than normally, and that's by going collector. Or in fact, we could even go for. Edge of the Night as well, that's another option. But I think a more safe, secure way of playing it is by going Destance. I personally like that more, having a bit of armor. And the effect is quite nice. Let's go. I think Destance will be the fix in this game, because we counter so many people with it. Next one. Uh, we need about uh, 600, so it's not that much. We're, we're going to get it before a big team fight starts, I think. Ah, this guy's baiting. Yeah, goodbye. I'm not gonna fall for that bait. I won't. I would like to 1v1 the rel, but that guy is also ultra tanky. Uh, Shaco's obviously baiting. Okay. 300 is all I need. I can't definitely also kill off the choke yet. Like, he looks very tanky. And he looks very strong. But he's not for me. I got so much on hit. Yeah. 
lucky. Yep. I've got my death stance. We need like 30, but I can just back to buy that item. Here we go. Now we can start. Hopefully it's going to give me the difference that I need here. I need like 10. They're finishing the base. Oh no. I got it. Hmm. Got it. <laughs> I'm Zinzal. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome in my game. <laughs> Try and get through me, please. <laughs> I am on my way. Hey, yep. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, man, we're chilling. We're enjoying it. 20 kills in. But this is uh, definitely a Baron call right here. We're gonna do that for sure. I hope that this guy will live. Okay, we don't have him. I, I will still, I'll still do it. I will still prioritize. Okay, Zed's not going for it. Good. Excellent. Okay, time to back off once more. This time we are buying a... I'm thinking about going Phantom Dancer as like an alternative option. And then we also go for the Red Potion. Now we have a little bit more crit chance. That will definitely help. Look at my damage. <laughs> oh man, nice one, nice one, excellent. We're gonna be uh, getting their base down. Let's have some fun. I think we may be able to finish this game. Cho gets balling still. <laughs> yeah. Say goodbye to your base. I'm finishing this game. Goodbye. GG. Hey, this is Intel Top Lane. Thank you very much for watching today's video. And I'll see you next time. Peace.